the Mato RDTA from Vandy Vape. Let's have a quick look. Hey guys, Vembic here, back with a quick look video. Bit of a different one today. We're having a quick look at a rebuildable today. We're looking at an RDTA from Vandy Vape and Nebel Fee. It is the Mato RDTA, and uh, it's kind of a European style RDTA in as much that it actually uses stainless steel wicks. So the way it works is an RDTA, your coils on top, your tanks underneath, and you've got cotton like here on top, but after the cotton you've got four strands of stainless steel like rope and uh, those go right down all the way into the tank and they constantly feed the cotton up top. Um, it's a very popular way of doing things uh, in European tanks, it tends to be anyway, not my field of expertise. Um, so it's very unique for me, it's a very interesting one for me. In terms of build, everything else is pretty simple, you know, even, even the stainless steel rods is very simple, they come you get five of them in the box and they're the exact correct size, length, width and everything and you literally just drop them in and it's very very simple. The deck is a postless deck and you literally just sit five mil lid length, you just sit it on top, a little bit of cotton on in there as well and the cotton's been fed by the stainless steel rope. So it's a very simple build uh, and a very simple style. In terms of notes uh, for the build on this, uh, what I recommend doing is um, fluffing up that cotton quite a lot. You actually need more cotton than you think um, because what you need that cotton to act is, as is like a reservoir in the deck. You want those two lumps of cotton to be quite big because they're getting constantly fed by the stainless steel. So you want two nice big lumps of cotton. Also it helps with the deck because it helps reduce the size of the deck in there and aids flavour. So you want nice big chunks of cotton in there. Another tip I picked up from uh, the glorious Mark Todd, Todd's Reviews, is that uh, it's often a good idea to just uh, blow torch or put on a gas hob just for a second the stainless steel rope just to get any nasties off the stainless steel uh, you know any particles any grease or anything like that just give it a quick torch uh, on the on the stainless steel just to get off any nasties not too much or anything like that uh, so that's a little tip as well so maybe 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 take a bit of heat to the uh, stainless steel just to get off any stuff uh, and then you literally just pop them in pop all four in and uh, they're the exact correct length. Stick your cotton right, lay your cotton right over the top of that stainless steel, and uh, you are good to go. In terms of specs, 24 mil wide device, very very tall indeed. Five mil capacity tank, and uh, it comes with a squonk pin as well. If you really want to squonk with it as well, uh, squonk pin, five mil capacity. 24 mil wide, single coil only. Uh, you only get two post holes on this, so it's single coil only. Uh, but you can get whatever coil you want in there. And five mil is the recommended. I believe it's the recommended lead length. It certainly works for me. Adjustable airflow uh, by spinning the tack, spinning the barrel section. I like it half, to be honest. It's quite quite wide open airflow for a single coil device. I'm also slightly worried about wicking, so I've, I've sort of capped it myself at 50 watts, uh, but it's vaping like this. As you can hear, not the quietest, uh, and I'm just constantly checking this wick to see if it is keeping up, and it, it does seem to be, it does seem to be. Um, yeah, it just seems to be. I don't really get how it works. The stainless steel, the juice kind of just seems to climb up it kind of thing, if, if you get what I mean. Um, it's the perfect width, you know. You can't just use any old bit of stainless steel rope in here. You need to get the length and width right, which is nice that it comes in the pack. So that's all good. That's all positive. Um, wicking over 50, 60, 70 watts, I think it's going to struggle. But a lot of RDTAs do struggle when you start to get to that wattage. And it is only a single coil tank as well. But uh, nice and swooshy, plenty of airflow if you want it. Certainly wouldn't recommend this below 30 watts, but again, I wouldn't recommend it over 60 watts. So it's kind of that mid-range vape. Flavor's very nice for me. I'm really enjoying the flavor. Uh, it does seem to be wicking quickly enough. 
and there's loads of airflow if you want it. Goon tips on top. The other thing that this has is a very clever fill port. Um, it's got like a, a rubber socket, and uh, you can put you even you can even put these big bottles in there as well. Shove it in, and uh, you uh, squirt it in there, and. Uh, when you pull it out, it locks back up. So even when you're tipping it about, moving it about, it's like a little valve and it's it's closed when you don't have a needle in there. So that works very well. Will that deteriorate over time? It might, it might. In my experience, those kind of things do. Um, so it may get a little bit messier over time. But right now, as a fill pot, it's working brilliantly, working very well indeed. So no issues there. It's interesting looking, you know, it's really tall. I've put it on a massive mod to kind of balance it out on the old Mustang. Uh, but uh, yeah, very, very tall, uh, very, very tall RDTA. Uh, so do bear that in mind if you're conscious of that sort of stuff. The stainless steel rope, I don't know what to say about it. I'm uh, not experienced, not super experienced in it. It seems to be wicking okay. I don't know why you can't just not have the stainless steel in and just let the juice get wet every time you vape. Uh, I would like to to do that <laughs> but uh, it seems to be working again not my field of expertise but uh, it seems to be working absolutely fine flavors good if you like your RDTAs if you like your stainless steel wicking RDTAs as well then uh, this is definitely something to check out it's uh, it's working it's working and the flavor is cracking as well so yeah, if you like your RDTAs, you're intrigued, you want to, you want to try your first stainless steel RDTA, uh, then uh, do check it out. Very well made by Van Vape as always. Very affordable, uh, again, as always from Van Vape, and a range of colours available as well. Um, I've been cutting in little clips of it up close and things like that. Um, so yeah, this is it. This is the Mato. Uh, pretty good, I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. It's totally unique, totally weird to me. But uh, I am enjoying it. And uh, if you are equally intrigued, check out some other reviews. But uh, pick, maybe pick one up. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe if you're not already. If I've missed anything, put that in the comments as well. <laughs> uh, I usually do. So uh, stick stuff in the comments and uh, I will read them and respond. Like, subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.